Ladies and gentlemen, this message is for all black men over the age of 40, one in four black men will get prostate cancer in their lifetime. Black men are much more likely to get prostate cancer than other men, who have only a one in eight chance of contracting the cancer. The information presented here is about prostate enlargement and cancer, and how to avoid it. Is prostate only relative to men? Yes, only men have a prostate and only men over 40 years old are at risk, but this healthcare information is for everyone. There is no woman who does not know a man 40 years old and above, whether that be their father, uncle, brother, son, friend, neighbor or colleague. Essentially this information is about health and awareness. Responsible health promotion must provide at least these three things. 1. Information. 2. Reassurance. 3. A plan of action. Let me start with some background information on prostate health. Everyone has a pair of kidneys, the job of the kidney is to remove waste, it is the waste management system of your body, every day your blood passes through the kidney several times to be filtered, as the blood is filtered, urine is formed and stored in a temporary storage tank called the urinary bladder. If there were to be no urinary bladder, as a man walked down the road his urine would be dripping at the same time. Now just for a moment think of the plumbing work in your house. Think of the urinary bladder as the overhead water storage tank. From the storage tank, a good plumber will run pipes to other parts of the house, including the kitchen. Well, God, in his infinite wisdom, ran pipes from our urinary bladder to the tip of the penis. The pipe is called the urethra. Just below the bladder and surrounding the urethra is a little organ called the prostate gland. The prostate gland is the size of a walnut and weighs about 20 grams. Its job is to make the seminal fluid which is stored in the seminal vesicle. During sexual intercourse, seminal fluid comes down the urethra and mixes with the sperms produced in the testicles to form the semen. So semen technically is not sperm. It is sperm plus seminal fluid. The seminal fluid lubricates the sperm. After the age of 40, for reasons that may be hormonal, the prostate gland begins to enlarge. From 20 grams it may grow to almost 100 grams. As it enlarges, it squeezes the urethra, and the man begins to notice changes in the way he urinates. If you have a son under the age of 10, and he is a little mischievous, like us all at that age, when he comes out to urinate he can target the ceiling and the jet will hit the target, ask his father to do the same, and he will find out that there is no way he can, because his urine stream is weak, and it cannot travel a long distance and sometimes may go straight down on his legs, so he may need to stand in an awkward position to urinate. Not many men will be worried that their urine stream cannot hit the ceiling as toilets are on the floor and not on the ceiling. However other symptoms may begin to show. For example terminal drippling. The man may begin to notice that after urinating and repacking, urine still drops on his pants. This is the reason why after an older man urinates, he has to shake off the excess. A younger man simply delivers to the last drop and walks away. Just see an older man coming from the bathroom, sometimes he may clutch the newspaper closely to hide the urine stains, particularly on plain colored trousers. Hesitancy. At this point the man may wait longer for the urine flow to start. There are two valves that must open for a man to urinate, the internal and external sphincters. Both open but because of obstructions in the urethra, they will have to wait longer for the flow to start. Then the more serious complications start. Stored urine gets infected and there may be a burning sensation when urinating. Stored urine forms crystals, crystals come together to form stone either in the bladder or in the kidney, stones may block the urethra. Chronic urinary retention sets in. The bladder stores more and more urine. The size of the bladder is 40 to 60 centiliters, a bottle of coke is 50. As the bladder stores more urine it can enlarge up to around 300 centiliters, an overfilled bladder may leak and this leads to wetting or urinary incontinence. Also the volume may put pressure on the kidney and may lead to kidney damage. What may likely bring the man to hospital is acute urinary retention. He wakes up one day and he is not able to pass urine. 
Everything I have described above is associated with prostate enlargement, technically called benign prostate hyperplasia. There are other diseases of the prostate for example. 1. Prostatitis, inflammation of the prostate. 2. Prostate cancer, cancer of the prostate. This discussion is mainly on prostate enlargement, but is also relevant to prostate cancer. Here there is bad news and good news. The bad news is that every man will have prostate enlargement if he lives long enough. The good news is that there are lifestyle changes that can help the man after the age of 40 to maintain optimum prostate health. Nutrition Look at what you eat. 33% of all cancers, according to the U.S. and U.K. national cancer institutions, is related to what we eat. Red meat every day triples your chances of prostate disease. Milk every day doubles your risk, not taking fruits or vegetables daily quadruples your risk. Tomatoes are very good for men. If that is the only thing your wife or partner can present in the evening, eat it with joy as it has loads of lycopene. Lycopene is the most potent natural antioxidant. Foods that are rich in zinc are also good for men. We recommend pumpkin seeds. Zinc is about the most essential element for male sexuality and fertility. Men need more zinc than women. Every time a man ejaculates he loses 15 milligrams of zinc. Zinc is also important for alcohol metabolism. Your liver needs zinc to metabolize alcohol. Alcohol consumption. As men begin to have urinary symptoms associated with prostate enlargement, it is important they look at alcohol consumption. More fluid in means more fluid out. Drink less and drink slowly. Exercise. Exercise helps build the muscle tone. Every man should exercise. Men over the age of 40 should avoid high-impact exercise like jogging. It puts pressure on the knees. Cycling is bad news for the prostate. We recommend brisk walking. Sitting. When we sit, two-thirds of our weight rests on the pelvic bones. Men who sit longer are more prone to prostate symptoms. Do not sit for long hours, walk around as often as you can, sit on comfortable chairs, we recommend a divided saddle chair if you must sit for long hours. Dressing Men should avoid tight underwear, it impacts the circulation around the groin and heats it up a bit, while the physiological temperature is 37 degrees, the groin has an optimal temperature of about 33 degrees. Pants or briefs is a no-no for men, wear boxers. Wear breathable clothing. Smoking. Avoid smoking, it affects blood vessels and impacts circulation around the groin. Sex. Regular sex is good for the prostate, people who are celibate are more prone to prostate illness, while celibacy is a moral decision, it is not a biological adaptation, as your prostate gland is designed to empty its contents regularly. Please share this information to as much people as you can, including your friends and family members, you just may help to save someone's life and to raise the awareness around prostate health and well-being. Thank you for watching this prostate health information video.